Welcome to learning about the TCP slash IP settings of the Ethernet module. As you can see here, I'm actually connected to the M1. I'm going to go ahead and left click on the M1 XEP setup. I'm going to go up to the TCP slash IP settings tab, left click on that, and now I'm actually going to set the static IP address. This is actually the numbers that I want to use. Your network administrator will actually tell you exactly which numbers you actually need to use for you. You do need to go ahead and fill out the four or five pieces of information depending on what your administrator needs you to do. Next I'm going to go ahead and name my device. The third thing I would like to do is I would like to enable the non-secure port. This will allow anybody's third party device to connect to the M1 through the Ethernet module. A third party device would be a touch screen or the RM software running on a computer are just two examples. As you can see here my non-secure port is 2101. I will actually need to remember that for the RM software or a touch screen. The secure port of the Ethernet module is the 2601. If I'm actually connecting to an AMX device of the local area network I would actually need to check this box. I'm not so I'm going to leave that open. As you can see down here on the lower right hand corner I've been making all these changes on the Ethernet module so the yellow light is on. I need to go ahead and save all these changes to get that to go away. I'm going to go up here and save all of this. Now I need to send all this new information to the M1 panel and to the Ethernet module. So I'm going to click on the send button. The box that pops up asks me that it's going to take roughly a minute to send all these changes to the Ethernet module and I'll also need to reboot it for all these new changes to take effect. So I'm going to go ahead and click the yes button. Now it's going to ask me to go ahead and reboot it, so I'm going to click OK for that. Again, this will take roughly about a minute. As you can see, since it's rebooting, down here in the lower right hand corner, I'm no longer connected to the Ethernet module or the M1. Now if it's been roughly a minute, what you can do is you can actually go down here to the Find button, click on the Find button, and it will actually go out and ping the XCP again. As you can see here, the name now comes up with it. The static address that I actually wanted in it is there. So I'm going to go ahead and click You Selected. I'm going to close this box. And as you can now see, the IP address that I changed it to is now in my Account Details page. Now since this is new, the modified light is back on, so I'm going to go up here and hit Save again. And now I'm actually going to connect to the M1 through the Ethernet module. This is always a good thing to do is to go ahead and double check to be sure it is working properly. So you can see here the computer is now trying to reach out and connect to the keypad. If we look down here on the lower right hand side of the screen, the green light is on which means we are now connected to the M1 once again. This will conclude the TCP slash IP settings of the Ethernet module.